Yes, sir. Jesus can save. Can he save him from the priest that's going to touch him? Your religion yeah. has insurance for that yeah. type of stuff. Yeah. Trust me, your religion mm -hmm. is not that. Holier than thou. Mm -hmm. If you humble yourself and let go of your pride, you're going to realize who Jesus truly is and that he's against disgusting men like that. You cannot label all Christians to be that way, man. You have to look at Jesus Christ. He is truly the one that defines Christianity. And I want you to know the true love of your heavenly Father, and that is Jesus Christ. You see, Jesus Christ is pure. Jesus Christ is love. And one day, every knee will bow and every tongue will confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. And one day, every knee will bow and every tongue will confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. You see, one day, everyone is going to proclaim this, His name the way I am. But you see, the thing is, not everyone is going to make it in the end. So it's best that you do, that you drop on your knees right now and confess that Jesus Christ is Lord and re repent of your sins before it's too late. It's going to come out of your mouth eventually. Yes, sir. Jesus can save. Can he save him from the priest that's going to touch him? After all, I don't want my child to point at all and say, hey, the okay. priest touched me here. Mm. So you're, I assume you're... you're, you're After all, your religion yeah. has insurance for that yeah. type of stuff. Yeah. Trust me, your religion mm -hmm. is not that. Holier than thou. Mm -hmm. So are you, are you labeling me as I'm something just thing. because evil people have done evil things in the name of God? First of all, we're not, we're not Catholics, by the way. We're not Catholic. And I'm not going to say that every, every Catholic touches children. And you see, we're against those things, okay? We're here to preach against those things because Jesus was not an advocate for pedophilia, man. And if that's what you think you're, the definition of Christianity is, you're severely wrong, man. You're severely wrong, and you need to humble yourself. If you humble yourself and let go of your pride, you're going to realize who Jesus truly is and that he's against disgusting men like that, okay? And God is going to judge and send to hell people like that one day. The Vatican, the Pope, they're going to hell, man. I hope you realize that. We don't, we don't advocate for those things. You see, God is going to judge him one day, sir. You see, but you cannot label... Yeah. You cannot label all Christians to be that way, man. You have to look at Jesus Christ. He is truly the one that defines Christianity. And I'm very sad that your father did that to you, man. And I want you to know the true love of your heavenly father, and that, that is Jesus Christ. Please, folks. Please, folks. Do not just assume. Do not assume that all Christians are the same way just because you've had a bad experience. Many people are against Christianity because of church hurt. Be, you know, people that have been raped by priests or, or, or pastors. You see, God is going to judge those people one day very severely. We are not here for that, folks. You see, Jesus Christ is pure. Jesus Christ is love. You see, Jesus Christ admonishes Father to not provoke their children to wrath. Yes, yes, we are to honor our parents, but that does not mean that we are not, we are supposed to accept every beating that our, our fathers give us. You see, there's a fine line between discipline and, and, and abuse, you see? And a loving father is going to discipline his children the same way that God disciplined me and humbled me when I was living a lifestyle of, of sin and, and adultery and fornication. You see, God humbled me by, by stripping 
every idol in my life, all of these things that I looked up to that, that were just empty and vain. Jesus Christ, help me realize that, that, that sex outside of marriage is just so overrated and disgusting and that, that shame that you feel afterwards, it is not worth it. STDs are not worth it. Having children out of wedlock are not worth it. These, are, these things are, are consequences of sin. Just because we want to have a temporary moment of pleasure. But that is not God's design. But you see, even if, even if you've been afflicted in those ways, God can still redeem you, folks. God can still save you and transform you and, and make you a new creature and, and give you a, a new testimony.